Ukraine could be allowed to use long-range weapons from Western allies to strike deep into Russia, allowing it to strike Russian air bases, ammunition depots and other targets, The Times reports. If the restrictions to Ukraine are lifted, Russia will have to move its aircraft further from the front. According to media reports, one of the main tasks of the Ukrainian military is to drive away the Su-34 and Su-35, which are used to launch guided aerial bombs and high-explosive aerial bombs on the territory of Ukraine. This would limit the number of sorties of Russian aviation. The policy change would allow us to prevent Russian strikes and create the necessary deterrence. All this brings us closer to ending the war, a Ukrainian military official told the publication. Ukraine had previously received British Storm Shadow missiles with an export range limit of up to 250 kilometers and American 88 CMS ballistic missiles 300 kilometers. However, strikes deep into Russia are still prohibited due to US concerns about escalation. According to journalists, the restriction may be lifted after Iran confirmed the transfer of FAF-360 ballistic missiles to Russia. The media emphasized that this political decision will not change the course of the war radically due to the insufficient number of long-range missiles. Germany still refuses to transfer Taurus missiles to Ukraine due to fears of escalation. They produced 600 units, of which only half are operational. The publication notes that the biggest danger regarding allowing Ukraine to fire long-range weapons deep into Russia is the possible response from Putin and the fear that he might use tactical nuclear weapons inside Ukraine, which is considered a red line for NATO. Recall, President Joe Biden said his administration is working on the issue of allowing the Ukrainian military to strike Russia with long-range weapons provided by the United States and its allies. The US is reluctant to supply long-range weapons to Ukraine and does not allow their use against Putin's army due to the risk of escalation. Washington's NATO allies are behaving similarly, fearing that Russia's invasion of Ukraine will escalate into a nuclear conflict. According to a Reuters source, the US is still close to a positive decision for Kyiv on supplying Ukraine with such weapons, but it will have to wait several months while Washington resolves technical issues. It should be noted that providing long-range weapons for strikes deep into Russia has bipartisan support. The head of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, Republican Michael McCall, recently sent President Biden a letter calling for lifting restrictions on the use of American weapons in the war between Ukraine and Russia. A flood on Tuesday swept away an entire hamlet in northern Vietnam, killing at least 16 people, several dozens remain missing, state media said. Vietnamese state broadcaster VTV said the flash flood gushing down from a nearby mountain in Lao Cai province buried Lang New Hamlet with 35 families in mud and debris. Only over a dozen managed to escape the tragedy. Rescue has recovered 16 bodies and continue the search for about 40 others. The death toll from Typhoon Yagi and its subsequent rain that triggered floods and landslides climbed to 141 on Wednesday as 69 others remain missing and hundreds were injured, VTV said. Various landslides on roads leading to the hamlet also hindered the rescue effort. Yagi was the strongest typhoon to hit the Southeast Asian country in decades. It made landfall Saturday with winds of up to 149 km per hour and despite weakening on Sunday, downpours continued. VTV said floods and landslides caused most of the deaths. Water levels in several rivers, including the Red River that flows through the capital, Hanoi, were dangerously high, forcing authorities to evacuate people living close by. State media cited local officials saying Hanoi, Vietnam's second most populated city and home to 8.5 million people, experienced floods not seen since 2008. <cười> Khu vực xảy ra trận lũ quét nằm cách xa trung tâm, giao thông bị chia cắt, hoàn toàn mất thông tin liên lạc, nên việc cứu hộ cứu nạn hiện gặp rất nhiều khó khăn. Con đường này để vào tác nghiệp trong khu vực xã Ca Thành, xã Yên Lạc về công tác cứu nạn cứu hộ. Tuy nhiên, hiện tại thì chính con đường thứ nhất này cũng vừa bị sạt lở rồi.
và ngay lúc này thì sở chỉ huy quân sự đã triển khai các công tác ứng cứu bao gồm dân quân tự vệ y tế và cứu hộ cứu nạn để nỗ lực tìm kiếm những người còn mất tích vào dạng sáng ngày hôm nay đã có thêm 5 người được đưa đến trung tâm y tế huyện nguyên bình để chữa trị tuy nhiên điểm khó khăn nhất lúc này là nhiều địa điểm đất